remember this. On June 23rd of last year, the South Lion Hotel was destroyed by fire. Yeah, on that day, uh, people, some of them in tears, told us how, how much the beloved bar meant to them and, in fact, the entire community. Flash forward to today, a year and a half later, the hotel is back open for business. Jamie Edmonds there live tonight with more on a big deal for the community. Jamie? Devin, it's absolutely a big deal. People have been waiting for this to reopen for a year and a half. Take a look around. We're just in the first floor and it is packed. I'm hearing there is an hour wait for dinner. People are really excited to come home. They say this place is like Cheers, a spot where everyone knows your name and gives you a little wave when they see you. A place with so much history. You know, there's been a lot of things that have happened here. You know, there's been a lot of probably girlfriend, boyfriends, marriage proposals, anniversaries in all the years. And it's been here so long that it's just one of those places that everybody meets. Which is why it was so hard for the people of South Lyon to watch the famous South Lyon Hotel go up in flames back in June of 2016. It's a big chunk of your life when you're here and you know this many people and they're like family and you see them every day. Um, so yeah, it was a hard to break away from that. The owners vowed to rebuild after some contemplation on where to begin. Originally, we were debating upon whether or not we could salvage any of the, of the, of the wreckage. All in all, it just made more sense structurally and financially just to knock it down and start over. So they started anew, sticking with the original design for the two-story building, but also modernizing it for the future. They now have a bigger bar, more room, and more amenities. And so far, business is booming. We're full all day yesterday, all, all night last night, and, and lunch is crazy today. I would, I would venture to guess maybe a couple thousand, almost, give or take. And as you can see back here live, they're really busy for dinner as well. And for those who are just getting uh, a beer or two, here's another note here. Not only are the people all coming back, the people that worked here before it burned down, you know, whatever they did for a year and a half, they are all back, about 15 employees back. And since it's bigger, they had to hire a few more people. Back to you. Well, it looks like they might put you to work. It's packed there tonight. But I'm wondering, you know, the, it all looks great and it's new, but I suppose some would like some of the history of the old place sort of incorporated. Were they able to do that? Well, they weren't able to salvage any of the building. The best they could do is they put pictures along the walls. They kept some of the marquees, some of the signs. So that's yeah. where you have your history, and they're hoping that people enjoy these modern amenities. Yeah, let's hope so. All right, get to work there as long as you're behind the bar. All right, Jamie, we'll talk to you later on. Yeah, here, here I go. go.